in this integral we have to integrate 1 minus cos mx divided by x multiplied by e to the power minus x between the limit 0 to infinity and we have to prove that 1 upon 2 log 1 plus m square. So first we suppose that the given integral is equal to i that is 1 minus cos mx divided by f and multiplied by e to the power minus f dx between the limit 0 to infinity is denoted by i and suppose that this is the equation 1. Now here we can see that m is independent from x. Here m is independent from x. So this is the parameter. So first we differentiate 1 with respect to the parameter m. So differentiate 1 with respect to the parameter m. Here we can see that m is independent from x. So m is the parameter. So for the integration of this function we first differentiate i with respect to the parameter m. So di upon dm this is equal to d by dm of integration between the limit 0 to infinity of 1 minus cos mx divided by x multiplied by e to the power minus x dm. Now in the right hand side when d by dm goes inside the integral sign it converts partially. So this can be written as 0 to infinity del by del m of 1 minus cos mx divided by x multiplied by e to the power minus x dm. Now we have the uh, now we have differentiate the integrand partially with respect to m. So here we can see that this x in the denominator and this e to the power minus x both are constant with respect to m because we have to differentiate this function partially with respect to m. So it goes outside the differential operator. So here we write e to the power minus x divided by x and del by del m of 1 minus cos mx dx. Now we have to differentiate 1 minus cos mx partially with respect to m. So we can see here when we differentiate this one it becomes 0 because 1 is the constant. And when we differentiate cos mx with respect to m, so differentiation of cos mx with respect to m is, uh, is minus sin mx. So this minus becomes plus and we write here sin mx. Now we differentiate this mx with respect to m, we get x because x is constant with respect to m. So write here x. So this is the differentiation of 1 minus com cos mx partially with respect to m is x sin mx. Here when we differentiate 1 partially with respect to m, so 1 is the constant, so differentiation of 1 is 0 with respect to m. Now we differentiate cos mx with respect to m, so differentiation of cos mx is minus sin mx, so this minus and minus gives plus, so this is sin mx. When we differentiate this mx, we get x is constant here and differentiation of m with respect to m this is 1. Now we can see that this x is in the numerator and denominator so both x are cancelled out so we write here integration of e to the power minus x sin mx dx between the limit 0 to infinity. So di by dm, so di upon dm, this is equal to integration of e to the power minus x sin mx dx. Suppose that this is the equation 2. 
Now we integrate this e to the power minus x sin mx and we using here i late. I late. So i is the inverse function, l is the logarithmic function, a is the algebraic function, t is the trigonometric function, e is the exponential function. So we suppose that this sin mx is the first function and this e to the power minus x is the second function. And here we use integration by parts. So integration by parts that is first function sin mx integration of second function e to the power minus x dx between the limit due to infinity minus integration between the limit due to infinity. Now differentiate first function that is sin mx and integration of the second function that is here we write sorry this is here integrate this first we write here sin mx and integration of e to the power minus x that is the second function here we using integration by part so integration by in the integration by part we suppose uh, first function is sin mx and the second function is e to the power minus x and using integration by part so first we write first function that is sin mx multiplied by integration of second function that is e to the power minus x minus integration and differentiation of first function that is sin mx integration of second function that is e to the power minus x and integration of whole. So here we using integration by part. Now we can see here this sin mx and integration of e to the power minus x is minus times e to the power minus x minus integration between the limit due to infinity. Differentiation of sin mx with respect to x is cos mx and m and integration of e to the power minus x is minus times e to the power minus x. Now we apply here upper limit minus lower limit. So in this function first we write minus here outside the bracket and apply upper limit. So this is sin infinity multiplied by e to the power minus x minus here lower limit sin 0 multiplied by e to the power 0. Now in the second term this minus and minus gives plus here and here m is the constant so this is outside the bracket outside the integral sign here e to the power minus x cos mx dx. Here we apply the first term we apply upper limit minus lower limit and the second term we can see here this minus multiplied by minus given plus this is m is constant so it outside the integral sign and now we have to integrate e to the power minus x multiplied by cos mx with respect to x between the limit due to infinity. Now we know that sin infinity this is a finite value oscillate between minus 1 to plus 1 this is finite multiplied by an e to the power minus 50 this is 0 and sin 0 0 and this e to the power 0 1 plus m integration of e to the power minus x cos mx dx. Now we can see that this finite value multiplied by 0 we get 0 here and this 0 multiplied by 1 we get 0 here so 0 minus 0 that is 0. So this bracket is also 0. So this becomes m integration of 0 to infinity of e to the power minus x cos mx dx. Now we have to integrate this e to the power minus x cos mx. Again we use here integration by part. Suppose that this cos mx is first function, this e to the power minus x second function and apply the formula first function that is cos mx integration of second function that is e to the power minus x dx and here write limit due to infinity now differentiation of first function that is cos mx 
integration of second function that is e to the power minus 8 dx and integration of fourth. Here we apply again formula of integration by part. Now we know that integration of e to the power minus x is minus e to the power minus x. So this becomes minus times e to the power minus x and cos mx. And here we write the limit 0 to infinity. Minus integration 0 to infinity and differentiation of cos mx with respect to x is minus m sin mx. And here integration of e to the power minus x with respect to x, this is minus times e to the power minus x. Now we can see that now we can see that m and in this bracket apply upper limit first. So e to the power minus infinity multiplied by cos infinity minus lower limit that is e to the power 0 multiplied by cos 0 minus and this minus multiplied by minus gives plus in the second term uh, between the integral inside the integral this minus multiplied by minus gives plus and this m is constant so it outside the integral sign so here we can write m integration of e to the power minus x multiplied by sin mx between the limit 0 to infinity. Now we know that e to the power minus infinity is 0, e to the power minus infinity this is equal to 0 and cos infinity this is finite because cos function oscillate between minus 1 to plus 1 and e to the power 0 this is 1 and cos 0 this is 1 minus m and here we can see that from equation second from equation second this becomes equal to di by dm so in place of e to the power minus x multiplied by sin mx integration between the limit due to infinity can be written as di upon dm. So here from 2, here we can see that this 0 multiplied by finite value, this is 0 and 1 multiplied by 1, this is 1. So this is minus 1, 0 minus 1. So this is minus 1 and minus 1 multiplied by minus this is plus 1 minus m di upon d. Now we multiply the bracket, open the bracket and multiply in m. So in the left hand side we can see here di by dm and in the right hand side m minus m square di upon dm. Now from the right hand side we can see that this term di by dm transforming the left hand side and taking common from these two terms di by dm. So we get here 1 plus m square di by dm this is equal to m. So this can be written as di divided by dm is equal to m divided by 1 plus m square. So di is equal to m divided by 1 plus m square dm. Now we integrate both the sides. Now we integrate both sides. We write here integration of di is equal to m divided by 1 plus m square dm. So integration of di is integration of di is i here and integration of 1 plus m square this can be written as 1 by 2 multiplied by 2m divided by 1 plus m square and we know that when we put here 1 plus m square equal to t we get 2m dm of 
which is equal to dt dt by t here we can see that numerator is the differentiation of the denominator so integration of this function can be written as 1 by 2 log of 1 plus m square and here c is the integration constant suppose that this is equation third now if we put now we find the value of the integration constant c for finding the value of integration constant c put m is equal to 0 in the given integral 1 we get we get i is equal to 0 because when we put m is equal to 0 so cos 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 this is 0 0 multiplied by e to the power minus x is 0 and 0 divided by x that is 0 so the value of the integral becomes 0 when we put m is equal to 0 in the given integral one now put m is equal to 0 in third we get here we can see that i is equal to 1 by 2 log 1 plus 0 plus c so 1 plus 0 that is 1 and log 1 this is 0 so we get here 0 plus c that is 6 so if m is equal to 0 i is equal to c and if m is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 so equating these two values we get c is equal to 0 now put value of c in above equation 3 we get i is equal to 1 by 2 log of 1 plus m square so the integration of 1 minus cos mx divide by x multiplied by e to the power minus x dx between the limit 0 to infinity is 1 by 2 log of 1 plus m square. Thank you.